What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, sussies? What's up? This your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is for this message to resonate. Guys, please make sure you're using discernment. Okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay? Sorry for the truck outside, sussies. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys for all your donations. Like, share, subscribe. I appreciate every last one of you. Thank you guys for all, everyone who, um, who's purchased off my website, Mystic Sunflower Boutique. Thank you for the Divine Feminist that copped the Divine Feminist jean jacket. Y'all lit. If you ain't, if you ain't a Divine Feminine, then you ain't lit. Divine Feminist just do everything better. <laughs> Let's get into this read this sussy. Let's see what spirit wants you guys to know. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, divine. My ancestors of the highest white light, my spirit guides, my holy angels, Archangel Michael. Please protect me while I channel the energies for my collective sun seeds. Please and thank you. Any blockages or interferences, please block them out. Please and thank you. What should they know, Holy Spirit? I'm just hearing if you ain't a divine family, you just ain't doing it right. Okay, so we have balanced spirituality and practicality. Um, so a lot of you guys could be um, balancing your spirituality, your practicality, meaning where you guys could have been on this spiritual journey for a while. Um, you guys are going to continue to be on it, but a lot of you guys are getting out, having fun, living a little more. Um, you know, just a lot of you guys been a hermit, you know, for a long time. A lot of you guys could be feeling like you're walking into the unknown, you know. Well, you guys already have been in the unknown, but when I say the unknown, meaning un back out in the outside world. Because you know when you've been in hermit mode for so long and you get back out, a lot of things seem foreign. Like you just, you know, because that just, that's not the life you live anymore. I feel like a lot of you guys are getting out, you know, having a little fun, you know, embracing, um, embracing life again, okay? So Spirit wants you to balance it out, okay? Your spirituality and practicality. Spirit wants you to also have the, you know, live live a little more, Mary. Live a little more, okay? Holy Spirit, give me some more messages from my beautiful collective sun Please and thank you. Ooh. Okay, so we have two. Spirit said, work through your fears. Your commitment is being tested. So Spirit is saying your commitment is being tested at this time. Um, Spirit wants you guys to work through your fears, okay? And look at the bigger picture. Okay, a lot of you guys could be feeling afraid, you know, getting back out there. You know, a lot of you guys have been focused on your spirituality for so long, have done the work. You know, like I said, again, being in hermit mode, you know, for so long, and you know, you're starting to get back out. It's like things don't look the same. You know, things don't feel the same. You know, um, you guys don't... Um, you guys haven't been surrounded by things in the 3D. You guys have been in, you know, the 5D and the spiritual world. So a lot of you guys are getting out now. And you might be a little afraid. You don't know where to start, you know. A lot of you guys have lost a lot of people on this journey. You know, a lot of you guys are making new friends, okay. Um, a lot of you guys are, are learning yourself over, okay. A lot of things that you used to like, you don't like anymore, okay. You're finding out things that you, you know that you like. You guys don't eat the same. You guys are going to places where you, you never used to eat this type of food you go going into environments and, and um, places where you know you never even would have thought before um you know your awakening that you would even surround yourself in these places so a lot of you guys are getting to know yourself and what you like more and, and you know how much your life has changed and spirit is saying there's nothing to be afraid of son Steve. work through your fears spirit is saying i got your back let me close that window Steve, because that is too loud a little better stuff seeds. yeah so um spirit is saying your commitment is being tested at this time i feel like um you guys have um amazing things that has happened to you and that is going to continue to happen but spirit wants you to know that your commitment is being tested okay stay loyal to the divine stay loyal to the most high um stay 10 toes down okay remember the assignment what you're here to do okay spirit is saying i want you to have a little life but I want you to know your commitment is being tested at this time, okay? All right. Yeah, surrender to the divine. We have surrender to the divine, okay? Spirit, don't want, don't let your pride get in the way, okay? Don't let pride or fear. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Spirit definitely wants you to live a little more. Spirit wants you to, you know, branch out, okay? You guys, with spirituality and practicality, um... You guys have been on this journey for a while. 
okay? And it's amazing. This, this, this is an amazing journey. But spirit don't want you to forget that there's another life outside where you have to go out and live, okay? A lot of you guys are fear, um, are afraid with fears because you guys have learned so much about yourself and on this journey. And you guys are afraid to make mistakes. A lot of you guys feel like, you know, I don't want to go back to the same Go back to the same old ways. I don't want to fall short, you know. And spirit is like, well, you know, what's life without experiences? What's life without experiences? You know, get back out there. Live a little bit, okay? But spirit is saying, once you know, your commitment is being tested. And I feel like your commitment is with the most high of divine, okay? Yeah. Spirit is saying your hard work is paying off. All the meditation that you're doing is, is, is paying off. Spirit said, have faith in your dreams. You okay, Sunseed? Okay? You, you, you have, the Spirit has gifted you with the discernment to know when something no longer serves you, when something is not good for you, okay? Yeah, a personal issue reaches resolution. So you guys could have been worried about an issue, but Spirit is saying all of that is coming to a resolution, all of that is coming to an end, you will get the clarity that you need, okay? Yeah, the answers you need are coming. Whatever answers you were looking for, they are coming, okay? And whatever adjustments need to be made, Spirit is saying you're going to need to make them, Okay? But spirit don't want you to live in hermit mode forever. Spirit wants you, you did the work on yourself. Spirit wants you to continue to do the work on yourself, okay? Because healing is never, ever over. It's never over. If anybody tell you, you healing is over, they're, they're lying to you, okay? Healing is an everyday process. But a lot of you guys have done so much work and you begin this new start, you know, and release things that no longer serve you to where now you guys are using, you know, um, discernment, okay? Using your intuition now. And you guys are always being guided by the Most High, always being protected by the Most High. But Spirit wants you to know that um, you need, you know, you're going to have to keep balance, okay? Because your commitment is being tested, okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Again, have faith in your dreams, okay? Spirit wants you to have faith in your dreams, okay? Yeah, Spirit said believe in the impossible. Believe in the impossible, okay? A fairy climax approaches. A new start is coming, okay? A lot of you guys was asking for a new start. Spirit is saying a new start is coming. A fairy climax approaches, okay? A new start is here. Again, surrender to the divine, okay? Okay? So let's get some more partial spirit. Yeah, look, success and freedom. I can't make it up. Success and freedom. Success and freedom. Success success and freedom. You know what this is giving me, Sunsee? With success and freedom? This is giving me abundance and freedom. This is your birthright to be free and abundant. Okay? Understand, this is your birthright to be abundant and free. Okay? It's nothing to worry about, Sunsee. It's nothing to worry about. You guys just been in hermit. I'm getting a hermit in my third eye. You guys surrendered to the divine. And you guys been a hermit, you know, for a little while. And, you know, you might be a little afraid to get back out. You know, things are not the same. You're not the same. But Spirit wants you to know that you deserve happiness. And Spirit wants you to be happy. Okay? Spirit wants you to know that you did you did the work on yourself. Okay? And, and you will always continue to have to do the work on yourself. Because your commitment is being tested. Okay? Especially with adversity. Okay? Overcoming challenges that come your way. Okay? You guys are amazing. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages from my beautiful collective sunsets. Okay, so we have imagination. This imagination is giving me manifestation, okay? You guys are manifesting the life that you want. Empathy, okay? You guys are empaths is giving me, okay? I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. A lot of you guys are um, highly intuitive, okay? A lot of you guys are empaths, okay? Star seeds, clairvoyant, indigos, okay? Um, a lot of you guys are very sensitive towards energy at this time, okay? So Spirit is saying, but take your energy um, from things that you know that wouldn't serve your highest good, okay? But don't be afraid to still live. You understand what I'm trying to say? Because all it is is balance, which is the year. This is the year of the sixes. The sixes, the year of the, this is the year of the sixes, which it speaks all about um, duality, partnerships, union, things coming together, okay? All you need is balance, okay? There's nothing to be afraid of, okay? There's nothing to be, you know, scared of, okay? You have all of the, the, the resources that you need to manifest the life you want, to live the life you want, okay? You guys are definitely getting 
you could be seeing 333 a lot, but you guys are definitely being guided by spirit. Um, but you could be seeing 444 a lot. You guys are definitely highly protected. Okay. Holy Spirit, anything else? For my beautiful collective sun seeds, Holy Spirit. Oh, again, freedom came out. Freedom. Okay, you guys are freedom. You guys are free. You guys are free to go, okay? So we're just saying, don't have too much fun now. Your commitment is being tested, okay? You took an oath to the divine, meaning being true to yourself, knowing thyself, taking the, um, you know, the, the tools that the divine gave you, okay? That you learned upon yourself, which is loving yourself, being compassionate towards yourself, being forgiven towards yourself, being forgiven towards others, Okay? Having discernment, knowing what's for you, what's not for you. People, places, the things. And we have love. Because love is the highest vibration of all. A lot of you guys are coming into union. Okay? A lot of you guys have definitely gone through a transformation. Okay? And this transformation has brought a lot of peace in your life. Okay? A lot of peace with this transformation. A lot of healing as well. Okay? Yeah, loneliness and friendship. A lot of you guys have been in isolation for so long. You know, you don't... Um, you know, a lot of you guys feel like, you know, um, I feel like you guys have been patient uh, on a spiritual journey. Um, a lot of you guys have definitely lost a lot of people. You know, you have felt alone. But Spirit is saying, because you changed, so now you're going to meet your soul tribe. Now you're getting out and learning new things, okay? Spirit is saying, be patient with yourself, okay? this You're not the same person anymore. Things have changed, okay? Spirit loves you, okay? There's no reason to have doubt at all. A lot of you guys have grown so much. Be proud of yourself, okay? A lot of you guys are coming into union with your true love, okay? A lot of you guys are free. You are free. You have learned a lot, study a lot. A lot of you guys are very sensitive to people, places, or things because you know, like I said, a lot of you guys are empaths, okay? you highly in tune with it. With this imagination, I feel like you guys have been out here manifesting the life of your dreams, okay? You guys are always manifesting. A lot of you guys can find yourself always daydreaming, okay? Holy Spirit, give me some more. Give me some messages from my beautiful collective sunsees. Okay, so the first card we have out is the Eight of Swords, okay? Um, Spirit saying there's no... There's no reason to feel... If somebody is out here doubting themselves or feeling insecure, it's no reason to feel insecure, okay? You have protection like no other, okay? You have the divine behind your back. That's why Spirit is saying surrender to the divine. You got a divine. Divine got you. The divine ain't gonna let you fall, but your commitment is being tested. Believe that, Queen of Pentacles, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you guys... Um, are uh, probably focused on your stability at this time. A lot of you guys have uh, could be manifesting um, abundance in your life. A lot of you guys could be figuring out ways how to bring abundance in your life. Um, um, Spirit is also telling me, you guys, if you want to manifest the life you want, you can't have a lack mentality. Okay, you have to already know that you have something before it even come to you in a physical form. That's manifestation. Okay, putting out there to the universe. You know, acting like you got it, talking like you got it, walking like you got it. You're manifesting, okay? Do not have a lack mentality. Once you manifest something, don't go back and think about it. Once you manifest manifest something, don't doubt it. Because the moment you doubt it, that manifestation is not going to work. Somebody is insecure. Somebody is worrying about how they're going to make it. How things are going to um, how things are going to happen. That's you, you don't do that. That's a lack mentality. Spirit said, I didn't give you the mindset of a lack. It's your birthright to be free and abundant. Okay? Yeah, somebody need to get out their head. Yeah, five, five of cups. Okay. Spirit is also telling me as well, you know, people that you have left behind could be feeling regretful. Um, some of them can be feeling remorseful. But also, Spirit is saying, um, some of them can, for, you know, for some of you guys, somebody could have watched you grown, glowed up and grown up. So you guys could be taking very good care of yourself, nurturing, loving, caring, compassionate. Um, a lot of you guys could be business owners. A lot of you guys could be thinking about being business owners. But a lot of you guys are focused on your finances and, and, and you know, staying level-headed. A lot of you guys are very grounded at this time. 
and um, a lot of friendships and partnerships that you had in the past, a lot of people are feeling like, you know, out in the cold. They don't know how to approach you. They feel like you are different now. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages for my beautiful. Yeah, I can't make it up. Eight of Cups with the Five of Wands. What did I say? A lot of you guys have walked away from these people that you felt was toxic, that was stagnating you, that didn't want to see you grow. People that were jealous of your growth. Oh, how how do this person have it? How do this person got this? They always things always come to them easy. It's because you did the work on yourself. Spirit wants you to know. Don't feel ashamed of your abundance that Spirit gave you, because you've seen success and freedom in the beginning. Do not feel ashamed. For what spirit has gave you. I don't, spirit don't care who says you're not, who says you don't deserve it. Okay. Who says, oh, uh, they, they, they always get these things so easy. Spirit said, uh-uh, it's just your season, baby. It's just your season. You got some friends that graduated from college. You got some friends that have been at jobs for a long time. And they looking at their life and saying, you know, well, I didn't, you know, I'm still in the same position. And then they look at you and they like, well, damn, this person done passed me at least like five, ten times. It's because it's your season. Okay? You did the work. Okay? Since people so focused on the physical, not knowing that it's all, all of this is on the soul level. Okay? Everything is on the soul level. Okay? Somebody could have... You know, um, they can you know pretend that oh yeah, cause I got all these degrees or I got this, you know, I supposed to have this. No, but spirit judge people by their heart. Spirit know you're so ugly. Spirit know you're really disgusting. Spirit know that you're really envious on the low. You know, you can pretend to the world, but you can't lie to spirit. And, and you know, you have people that's jealous of that because you have walked away because you no longer see them on a physical. You see they soul. You see people's soul. Okay. And you left them out in the cold because you knew there was five of wands. They was jealous. They was envious. And they was talking about you and spreading rumors behind your back. Okay. And you walked away. And now they big mad. Yeah. Now they big mad. Okay. Queen of Cups. I feel like you was very loving and caring and nurturing towards these people. Okay. And once you went through your spiritual awakening, you decided to leave these people behind. Six of Pentacles. A lot of you guys gave a lot to the situation. It wasn't balanced. It's like you gave more than what they was giving you. These people were jealous of you. Okay. Because you had a talent. You had a talent. They was mad. They was envious because you walked away. Okay. Give me a card on the Eight of Swords, Holy Spirit. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Somebody mad at what you do for work. Okay. Whatever contract that you have. Whatever. Um, you could be on a platform. But somebody, somebody is jealous of what you have. But Spirit is saying, that's because the Four of Swords, because you did the healing. See, a lot of people want the 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 the, the finer things. They want all the gifts. They 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 see somebody with the nice stuff and they say, Oh, I want that, but they're not willing to do the work. You, sun seeds, you surrender to the divine. You surrender to the divine. Every time that your every time your commitment was being tested, you stayed ten toes down. You was loyal to the divine. You was loyal to the mission. You knew the purpose that you had here. You knew it. And somebody stayed, somebody stayed in love. What love is the highest vibration. Okay, somebody work. It's very saying work through your fears. Somebody work through their fears. They know fears a lie. Fear, fears a lie. Fear, fears the devil. Fear is, is is not of God. You understand? Somebody knew that. Or whoever, whatever God you serve, but somebody knew that that was a lie. But see, people out here they so focused on a three D. They so focused on time. You know, I don't. I gotta. I I gotta have. I, I don't have enough time. Or or within this time, I gotta do this. Not knowing that time is just an illusion. It's not real. Only time is real is divine timing. And it's just your season. That's why. Period. Ace of Wands that want to come out. It's just your season, baby. New beginning with the justice card. <laughs> Good karma. What you put out in the world is what you get back. Spirit don't care how long you've been at a job. Spirit don't care how good you seem to the world. Spirit don't care how good you might look to the world. Okay? Spirit go by their heart, your soul. Okay? Somebody is jealous because you a boss. Okay? Somebody mad because you're bossing up. Okay? Somebody mad because you're bossing up and my nose itching. Maybe in the past you did have a lack mentality. You don't have that no more with this imagination because you're manifesting. Somebody want to come back around you that was jealous and envious of you that took from you to learn how to manifest the way how you do. After they put you down. Okay? And these are some of them are people you loved. Okay? Somebody sees you as balanced and free. And they wanna they wanna they wanna be just like you. Give me a card on the five of cups over spirit. Yeah. 
Five of Cups is clarified with the Nine of Cups. I can't make this up to you, Sunseed. Somebody is mad because you're getting all your wishes to come true. All your wishes. Nine of Wands. Somebody is looking at you like, I watched this person go through everything. How the hell is they not down yet? How is they not in a casket yet? How they don't shut their big mouth yet? How every time I see them, they doing ten times better from the last time I seen them? Because you're the wounded warrior. Okay? You don't sleep and you don't stop into the moment when you're gone. And even after you're gone, you're still going to be here because your soul going to be living. Period. Somebody don't like the fact that you've been through everything. And with this Nine of Cups, you just keep on winning. You keep on winning. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Bang. Okay? Can we see in rainbows a lot? Okay? It's your birthright to be free and abundant. Okay? These people watching you while you out here leveling up. Staying committed to the divine. Yeah, closing out cycles that no longer serve you. And they can't stop watching you. And could you blame them because you are the empress? Ace of swords, spirit said that's the damn truth. Because you moved away from things that no longer serve you. And night of cups, you decided to pour into yourself. And for a lot of you guys, you got a new love coming in. Or a lot of you guys are in love, okay? And seven of cups, you got people confused. Why? Because you out here bossed up. You got somebody that's coming in to bring you a commitment, okay? And with the seven of pinnacles, they was waiting for you to fall. They was waiting for you to lose everything. Now they're looking back. How? How did this person grow? How did this person do? Because you surrendered to the divine. This is your good karma. Again, with the ace of wands. And now you got people looking at you like they missed out on the opportunity. But they don't know you serve the most high. Okay? You did the work. Okay? You turned your back. You turned your back with the three of wands and you walked into your success after dealing with a betray you. And you got these people want to come back and apologize, but you don't want their offer because you know they're toxic. Okay? That's why we had loneliness and, and that's why we had loneliness and friendships. They're missing you now. But a lot of you guys are already going to turn your back. For some of you guys, you're already. Mm -mm. You freed yourself. Now you're getting a love of your life that's going to be balanced, okay? Whatever you was worrying about, whatever you was stressing about, that is over with, okay? That is over with. A personal res a personal issue reaches resolution, okay? Your commitment was being tested. And for some of you guys, I got to be honest, you passed the test, okay? Empathy, okay? A lot of you guys are sensitive towards energies because you know people are toxic, okay? You was out here working through your fears while they was out here snaking you, crabbing you, looking down on you, saying you don't deserve this, you don't deserve that. See, everybody wants your light. Everybody wants your light, but they don't know what you've been through. They don't know what you've been through. They don't know why you're so blessed and, and, and favored by the most high, okay? But see, they want to watch you and say, I want that same light. And to spirit say, okay, you want their life? You want their life so bad, I'm going to give you them curses that they had on their life. I'm going to give you them curses and all them ass whoopers that they had on their life. How people try to take them out. You want their life so bad, I'm going to give you all of that. Okay? But see, spirit won't put too much on you that, that you can't bear. Spirit gave you all those challenges, so see, that's why you had the nine of wands with the nine of cups. Okay? Because you've been through everything under the sun. You're the wounded warrior. You release things that no longer serve you. So now you can have your wishes. Nine, nine, release. You can Now you can have your wishes because you release things that no longer serve you. Spirit gave these goddamn people the things that you had upon your life. They won't even make it a day. Spirit said they won't even make it a day. They want what you got. They, they, want, they, they, they like what they see on the outside. But they don't want the trials and tribulations that you had to go through to get that. Okay? Spirit said they keep playing. They keep playing. I'm going to put them things that you had on your life on them. They ain't even going to make it. Period. Keep manifesting. Keep manifesting. And basically what I get with this balance and spirituality, somebody been in hermit mode for a very long time. Somebody learning to live, have a little fun. And it might be a little weird because you don't like the same things anymore. You don't eat the same things anymore. You don't, the things that, you, you, you know, you, you used to, you know, surround yourself with. That's just not your thing no more. You're living a whole new life. Somebody has freedom and success and abundance and love. This is the year of sixes, partnerships, unions. Somebody did the work. That's why they're highly favored and highly blessed. Congratulations, Sunseeds.
I love you and the divine love you. Until we get up next time. Later. Peace.